Hey guys! Today I'm going to be doing a reading journal flip through of the bullet journal pages that I've done for 2019 so far. I've finished all of my like yearly spreads, or at least at the moment they're all that I plan on doing, and my January monthly spreads. Now I'm not used to recording like this, I'm actually in a very awkward position, and I don't know if this is something that you guys will want to see or not, but I figured that I would share everything with you right now, and if this is something you guys would like to see monthly, I would be happy to do it, and it would also keep me accountable for actually like doing these pages every month. Because I feel like at the beginning of the year, I'm going to be like so hyped to do these, and then it's going to become tedious later on. But opening up, I have a lot of pages here that I did in 2018 that you can see more detail on on my Instagram. It's like these are all the books I have to read that are on my shelves, and then pages for books I have read and rated. Then I have like my book Tubathon page. I have full quote pages. This was a genre tracker that I highly underestimated the amount of room I needed. Then I have a favorite quotes page. It only has four quotes on it right now, but I hope to fill up these entire pages at least by the time I finish with this book. But moving on to 2019, this is my, I guess, divider between 2018 and 2019. I think it turned out really nice. I just did some simple hanging stars and I did a drop shadow in the numbers. Now this bookshelf, the books I read in 2019 turned out a lot better. And I've actually counted there's 50 books on this shelf and then if I read more I have plenty of room to add more in. And this bottom shelf is going to be strictly for manga. And hopefully I don't read so much manga that this gets completely filled up and I need more space. I also have a little color coder, I guess you want to call this, or index or whatever. Like every book that I read for January is going to be a certain color and then February and March and April and it's just going to keep on going so I can see like the progress that I had each month and if all goes well this may actually look like a rainbow bookshelf but I highly doubt that because if I do end up reading more than 50 books I'm gonna be adding more in so I probably won't even try to do that because it'll look like a mess. Next I have my 12 goals for 2019. If you guys actually want to read those you can pause the video and read them but they're just the goals I want to stick to and they're all goals that I'm actually already working on and they're pretty like easy goals. It's like number six is just watch more anime. It's like I left them more open-ended. It's like I can just, if say I watched two animes last year, I can just watch three this year and I'm already watching more anime. Stuff like that. I wanted to keep this year less stressful but at the same time productive. Next up is this anime to watch page and this is probably one of my favorite pages and I'm sorry I can't like give you a full view but I've actually taken like little cutouts that I could have hand drawn but it would have taken too much time and then I thought these logos would look better than handwriting like each anime that I needed to watch as you can tell there's a lot and there's actually a lot more saved on my computer Next up is my weight loss tracker. I want to lose 45 pounds and I'm still trying to think of some rewards. If you guys have any suggestions for that, it'd be greatly appreciated. But the best reward I could come up with is like spend a day at the library, which I guess is a reward, but I was, I don't know. I'm trying to save money too, which is this next page. So I'm trying to come up with rewards it's not going to cost me a lot of money which as you can see I'm saving up for to fix my car for a new camera and vacation and so far I've saved up quite a bit on my camera all of that mind you is just from Christmas and my birthday then next up we have this page 
On the top here is a Society 6 tracker, which I actually did wrong. I put the total amount maxed at $12, when I should have had it double that, at least. And then off to the side here, I'm just going to have designs sold. Then underneath that is a monthly tracker for books I've read, hauled, and donated. And hopefully by the end of the year, the read books will far exceed the hauled. This next page is a genre tracker. And I have all of the genres that I normally read, along with thriller and suspense and mystery and horror. I really want to read more of those this year. Then I have sections for young adult, middle grade, and adult. I want to read more adult books, so I needed this section. And hopefully, I mean, I made this really tiny as well, so hopefully I have more room this year. If not, I may have to make a second genre tracker, which I really hope not to, because as you can probably tell, I can't draw a straight line to save my life. <laughs> then I have my Goodreads reading challenge, which is to read 50 books. Drawing all of these books was such a hassle, but so worth it. I really do love this page. Next up, I have my reading bingo page. If you guys have seen my wrap up, you've seen my challenge jar. And basically, each slip of paper in here is one of these challenges. Basically, I'm going to choose two out of here a month, pick a book to read for said challenge, and then I'm going to put the challenges I have already or I'm working on or very done in this little envelope that I made that way I can keep track of those and then once I finish it I will fill in the block next up I have my top of the TBR and the most anticipated page I was actually watching Caddy Tastic's video and I really loved the idea of this page so I thought I would try out like the way she done it and if I find a way I like to do it better later on I will do that you know a better way that works for me but I have these top series that I want to read that are like so overdue as for my most anticipated the tyrant's tomb and defy me were already on here the music of what happens I've already read but I want to get a finished copy of and the rest of these I heard about through either books a million or other YouTubers and they just sounded really good and I want them. Next up I have my birthday page. I just got bored on my birthday because I really didn't do anything except go shopping and I cooked dinner and did the dishes and I feel very like I need to clean on my birthday. I don't know how else to put that. But I did this just to celebrate my birthday. Then I have my page for January. I suck at calligraphy, so I just printed this out and glued it to the page. I My handwriting sucks. But I do love how all of these snowflakes turned out, but it was a real hassle. Then we have my monthly spread, which is, you can tell my handwriting really sucks. This is really plain Jane. I just have the important dates and to do. Not sure I'll actually use this section, but the important dates so far I've used. Then I have a brain dump page, and this is where I'm going to be putting like all of the random to-do lists I need to do, and like ideas or just random odd and things. Next I have this mood tracker, which I have a different mood for like if I'm mad, sad, neutral, or happy. This is my YouTube page where I keep ideas for videos, the videos I've uploaded, and what I need for said videos. And I think I'm going to be filling like the boxes in for the days that I upload those videos. So I have like a list down here, but then I also have an overview because I want to upload like a video a week. I don't know if that's possible because of how noisy and the crappy lighting I have. And just some days I have well, with depression, you have some better days than others, so it may not be possible for me, but I'm going to try. And I really do love the way this page turned out. I think this will be like a reoccurring page. I don't think I'm going to change much, if anything, about it. And then these I also saw on Caddytastic's thread. It's just the, this is I guess the overview of it, like the weekly view of the whatever week you're working in. Like this is... Uh, January 1st to the 5th and then this is the daily one as you can tell right here I have 
plan to film, or you may not be able to read it, I don't know. And then I have write, read, and film. This is basically how Cat has hers, you know, all put together. And I can already tell you next month is going to look completely different because even though I like this, I don't like this page. So this page is going to change. I'll probably like keep this and then have like the days of the week or something going through here. And this is going to be gone too. This is my tracker for like water, exercise, when I take my shower and baths and writing. And the reason I have shower and baths is because I lose days easily or I forget what day it is. So it's just easier for me to keep track of something small like that to like keep track. I don't know how to explain it. It's like that's just I feel like it's going to help me keep track of days. If it doesn't I may completely stop doing that tracker. And these pages are also not as decorative as the others because I couldn't think of anything. Like this has a little snow border. This next page has the snowman which you can barely see on camera. Then I have like a little cottage on a snowy mountain. And then these next two pages, I just have hanging stars and the color I was doing all the snowflakes in. And then the last page I have here is a quote page. Because humans don't have wings, we look for ways to fly. It's a quote from Haiku, and I love it so much, and it's such an inspirational quote. And yes, I did, like, <laughs> cut all of this out on the computer and just paste it on here, except for the feathers. I did all the feathers by hand, and I think they turned out really good. I really do love this page. It's my favorite full quote page. Now, from here on in, up until February, any book I read gets a full page spread like I did in 2018. These full pages that I did for each book I read, and then I have my review, and what days I read it, and the format I read it in and all of that. I don't know, I probably won't do that for every book, but I will probably do that for like the majority of the books I read. But yeah, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!